I got laid off at a job I was doing. I was a courier driver, and I went down to the unemployment office, and Bidwell Training Center had a table set up. And they said, well, all we got is culinary arts. You know, I was out of a job. Like, what okay. am I going to do? You know, I, I said, well, I'll, you know, okay, I'll take culinary arts, see how I'll learn how to cook. No, it was not a dream of doing that, but I come, I usually, we lived right up the street, and I drive past this place every day, and it had a for sale or rent sign on it. But I called him up about it. We talked, and uh, somehow we got five, I got $5,000 off the credit card, and her aunt, God bless her soul, lent us $5,000. That was her inheritance from her aunt. She said, can I get my inheritance early? <laughs> we really need it right now. She said, sure. So it took us $10,000 to get the place started up. And it took us, so we're eight years, and we're still just paying the bills. and making Not making any money. That's it. Just paying bills. We're paying the bills, and we're getting along. I mean, you know, she, she wants to go out and buy something. She's got money to do it. She's not that, that poor. lots around here. They were all homes. This was a thriving community down here. Was. The way Southside's thriving right now, this was like this way this was like down here. here Back in the late 50s, there. early 60s, yeah. yeah. Like, you know, it's like, I know I know you. 
And when I went to plug in his thing on the bed, the bed slid because it wasn't locked and I almost fell like right on top of him. It was like, I mean, it was just like a comic situation. And I was getting a Demerol drip, and I was like, yeah, baby. <laughs> and I was off the next day, so thank God I didn't see him the day after. You know? And then we met uh, a friend of mine's house. She lived across the street from him. This was That's probably uh, a couple months later. A couple months later, the Who's farewell concert. So he's yeah. invited me up to his house. I mean, you know, I'm in his easy chair, leaning back, and here, here he invites Sandy over. And uh, she come over, and I'm sitting in her chair. She jumped up on my lap and said, Hey, Toots, want a full run? <laughs> I went, Yeah, screw the Who concert. <laughs> we, we ended up watching a Who concert. Then we went over to her place and fooled around. And we haven't stopped since. <laughs> we've been together ever since. Yeah. Yeah. It has been. We've been together ever since. And we've been married for how many years? 21 years, come 21 September years, 21st. But then, we, but then we were together eight years before we got married. So. Well, yeah, Septem well, yeah, September 21st is our anniversary. What do you think the secret is in your success? Thank God and knock on wood. <laughs> it's just serve good, serve good food, good service, you know, make people feel comfortable and they keep, they'll, they'll come back. We have a and lot they, of good customers have. And then they've come back. Good morning. My name's Kim Morrow, and I'm sitting here at Donnie and Sandy's Diner on the north side of Pittsburgh. Uh, I've known Donnie and Sandy for an awful long time, probably near past 30 years now. I believe Donnie's been diner going on 10 years, and uh, me and Bob have been regular customers. Uh, used to be on a daily basis, but uh, due to our budget, it's down to about two to three times a week. But uh, anytime we get a chance to stop and have his delicious food, uh, we, we make an extra attempt to get here. Uh, Donnie and Sandy are just wonderful people. As you see, they, they have a very clean establishment. The people are all down to earth, like all Northsiders always are. Um, it's just a pleasure to come in. Uh, just for company, uh, see a lot of the people that we work with on a daily basis from the neighborhood. Uh, you get to see a variety of people that you haven't seen in years. Just meeting on cold days for soup or hot coffee, whatever it might be. And uh, I'm really looking forward to coming down as long as Donnie's going to keep rolling to serve us and he can cook this delicious food. And I think everybody ought to give him a try. How's that? <laughs> Okay. You learn how to make me love. Yeah. She makes the best. Oh, weren't you sweet? Well, I'm on that camera. I'm on want film. I gotta. I gotta <laughs> stretch it a little. Nah. <laughs> She's the best. That's why I married her. Sandy and my grandma were my two big influences in my life. She, my, my grandmother kept me going through all my trials and tribulations. And then, then when my grandmother got too old, she took over. She, she saved me. I was, I was on the road to the gutter. I was, uh, I was like almost uh, a, a homeless person. And I met, I met her. And, uh, and it changed my whole life around. My grandmother kept me going the first part of my life and she kept me going till now. She always used so to there, call me Cindy. That was, <laughs> Cindy, I want Cindy. So I said, man, it's Sandy. She's my companion in life, that's it.